Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube channel. It's Girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for liking our videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Please continue to encourage me by watching and giving me stuff to react to. I will really appreciate. Just drop the name or the link to whatever you want me to watch and I'll react to it in time. Um, check us out on Facebook and, in, and Instagram as funny and Jesse just head there say hi or say hi back check out our second YouTube channel called funny and Jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy the content that we actually put out so today I'm actually going to be reacting to I mean did that fitting reply to Jimmy Swaggart to Jimmy Swaggart on polygamy in Islam so without wasting time let's get into the video you see, he had a small joke against the Muslims about polygamy. You see, he says, Islam allows, Islam allows you to marry four. He didn't quote the verse correctly. He was saying Surah Nisa, verse 3, or something to the effect. The Quran says, marry women of your choice by twos and threes and fours. But if you cannot do justice between them, marry only one. The only religious book, I'm saying the only religious book on the face of the earth, which has this expression, marry only one, is the Quran. There is no other book on earth. And this is the solution to your problem. He has settled down in America. He has married a beautiful young lady, an American woman. Congratulations. But now, Wait, wait, wait. The, the American statistics, they tell us, there are 7.8 million more women than men in America. That's almost 8 million more women in your country, sir, the land of your domicile. 8 million women who can't get husbands. If every woman, if every man in America got married, there'll still be 8 million women who can't get husbands. I'm asking in this book of God that you are boasting about, what is the solution to your problem? Jimmy Swaggart. If you get the tape, the tape is available. Jimmy Swaggart. Anil Sharosh, the tape is available. You can get it before you go. They are eight pounds each. Jimmy Swaggart, if you see this debate, at the outset, he is also having a laugh at our expense. He says, you know, Mr. Didat, he says, you know, we had a chat in the waiting room, and Mr. Didat says that the Muslim can have four wives. Islam allows four wives. He just corrected me, said up to four. I said, well, <clears throat> Mr. Didat, Christianity only allows us one, so I had to get the best on the first shot. So he said, but you see, Christianity allows us only one. And I have to choose the best. <laughs> Get the tape. Get the tape. He said, I have to choose the best. And you know, the best was not good enough. <laughs> look, look. This, all these tele-evangelists, all, one by one. They're all falling. Reverend Mark, Mark, Marvin Gorman, an evangelist, you know, tele-evangelist, he appears on television, tantalizing millions. He was caught with a prostitute. <laughs> Jim Becker, Jim Becker, with Jessica Hans, another prostitute. Jimmy Swaggart. Average of two trips to the prostitute for his satisfaction. I said, you laugh at us? You are a fool. I said, the laugh is on you. Okay. 
You Americans, you have a problem. You British, you have a problem. You French, you have a problem. You Germans, you have a problem. And to these, there are no solutions in your book. No solution. Islam gives an answer to your problem. Divorce. 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 Brother, should we just talk about divorce? You know how the Muslims. Look, when you mal practice, when you do something against your own teaching, you are culpable. No doubt the general Muslim community seems to have got that idea that when you want to divorce your wife, you just have to say talaq, talaq, talaq. But he's supposed to have known the Quran. There is a chapter in the Quran, the whole chapter is called Surah Talaq. Meaning, chapter divorce. You must have read it. Surah Talaq. Talaq means divorce. At the outset, Brother Sharosh, he said, he has been studying the Quran for two years now. Two years. Uh, sure. See what the Quran says, please, brother. And then point a finger at the Quran and say, look, this Quranic teaching is not right, it's not feasible, it's unreasonable. Talk about the Quran. Don't talk about the Muslims. As much as we have bad Muslims, you have bad Christians. You I really love Amit that and they shared in this video was insane. Um, it's good to call out people on their nonsense. You know, don't sit here preach this righteous life while you're doing something on the side. Don't say, do this, yet you do quite the opposite of what you want the person to do. It's like the mean people that come under um, different YouTubers' pages and are being rude. Does the Bible, does the Quran say that you should be mean to people? No, it doesn't. So how do you expect someone making the reaction or reacting to something or just making a vlog or whatever it is? How do you expect them to be nice if you yourself can't be nice? So let's not play ourselves. Let's stop acting righteous than other people. Of course, people from different tribes, cultures, whatever it is that you want to name it, are going to practice different things, different faiths, different beliefs, different ways of living, and we have to learn to respect that. I have to respect that my friends, be my childhood friends or people I met in class university, are going to practice different things, and I myself actually going to practice something else. But should that mean that I should disrespect what either of my friends believes no i don't think so it would be very very unfair and unreasonable respect people you don't have to agree with them just move away from people when they're doing something you don't appreciate although now we have the freedom of speech and we can express ourselves anyhow we want let's just be respectful in the way we express ourselves that's always very important let me know what you guys think about this video and polygamy itself make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video but before that please suggest something for me to react to i will appreciate and bye